Hello viewers here, yeah, hello welcome. We have this beautiful uh, exponential equation. So as you can see, we have 1 over 2 to power x, 1 over 2 to power x, 1 over 2 to power x equals uh, 12. So this is very simple. Look at this, second term, third term, the three terms are the same. So which means when you have one mango, plus one mango, plus one mango, it's going to give us three mangoes. So therefore, we're going to have three multiplied by, that is, three times one over two, then to the power of x equals what? Equals 12. So therefore, this is how to reduce. We have reduced this in this form. Now, this is multiplication here. So we can divide both sides by what? By 3. Okay. So we're going to have this cancel with this. So we're going to have 1 over 2 to the power of x equals. Now, 12 divided by 3, that will give us 4. Right. So from here, so what's the, what's the next thing we are going to do? So I'm going to have 1 over 2 to the power of x equals. I can write this in index form as 2 to the power of 2. But you can see that here, we have what? We have 1 over 2 here. But here, let me do something here. Something very, you know, beautiful. So, uh, <laughs> if I have 2, okay, you know, ordinarily 2 is 2 over 1. I can write 2 as 2 over 1 because 2 raised to power 2 gives us 4. 1 raised to power 2, so we have 2 over 1. So, we have what? We have 1 over 2 to the power of x. Now, I want to change, interchange the position of 1 and 2. I want 1 to come up and 2 should come down. So, if this, you know, transformation occurs here, so definitely the power here will be uh, negative. So, therefore, the bases are the same now. So, we have our x to be equals minus 2. Can you see? Good. I just gathered to bring this, you know, help here because I know majority might not even think of this. And the same thing, you can go from here. You know, we have this, 1 over 2. You can write this in index form, taking 2 to the power of minus 1. And it's going to be what? It's going to be x, which is equals, we have 2 to the power of 2. So this time, since we're going to have 2 to the power of minus x equals 2 to the power of 2, so the same basis, we have x to be minus 2. Because it, it's still the same thing. But I just try to bring this so that we, you know, learn more. Or we get new things, you know, added to the, uh, to the uh, previous or uh, prior knowledge. Okay? So that's why I'm here. Now, thank you so much. Kindly share this to your colleagues so they can learn from it. Follow our Facebook page for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.